So this partial fraction decomposition is a little bit different because you have to factor the denominator by grouping. So looking at the denominator, and you may or may not recall the factoring technique of grouping, but if you group these two things sort of together, what you can do is factor out an x squared on the left-hand side, and you get x minus 1. And if you factor out a 4 from this right grouping, you get x minus 1. So now you see you have a common factor, and that common factor is x minus 1. So if I factor the x minus 1 out, I'm left with x squared plus 4. So that's your, your factoring. And everything else pretty much continues the way we've you know, been going about solving partial fractions. So you're going to break out your, fraction, your factors. And I think it's worthwhile for me to just complete this problem so that you get another, uh, another chance to be exposed to this material. So on the left-hand side, you just have the integrand that we're decomposing. And on the right-hand side, we have a over x minus 1. And this is an irreducible quadratic, so we have to handle that by decomposing with this term. So we've got um, you know, a slightly different problem than we have been used to, but again, the process is the same. We're going to multiply through by the denominator, which is x minus 1 x squared plus 4. And I just rewrote it in a different way, but you know that that cancels out because we just went through the factoring process. So what you're left with on the left-hand side is simply x squared, and on the right-hand side you're left with x squared plus 4, and on the right-hand side you're left with bx plus c x minus 1. So let's go about collecting terms. I think that's Oh, maybe not. Let's let's choose let's choose picking values for x. Let's go down that route. So um, let x equal one because I'll be able to knock out this term. Okay. So if we let x equal one, we get one squared is equal to one squared plus four a, and then everything over here is going to cancel out. So we're just left with this, right? Because this is x plus c times 0. So a is equal to 1 fifth. And all I did was solve the equation. So let's, um, let's try and knock out another one. Um, OK, so we're having a little bit of difficulty here. What I think I would do at this point is if we let x and if we can't knock something out, we try and let x equal something something simple. All right, And x equals 0, x equals 1, they are simple values for x. So let's try x equals 0. OK, we get 0 squared. Um, 0 squared plus 4a plus b times 0 plus c times minus 1. So solving this equation, you get c is equal to 4 fifths. So that leaves the task of trying to find b, right? So if I let x equal 2, and again, there's many ways to do this. You know, I'm just flying out of the seat of my pants here and figuring out what I can easily let x equal. And collecting terms may have been a better way to go. I'm not quite sure yet. All right, so I'm just letting x equal 2 in this equation now. And then I'm solving it for b. So I get, let's see, 4 equals 8 fifths uh, plus 2b plus 4 fifths. OK, so b 
is equal to, and I'm doing a lot of arithmetic in my head, but I think b is equal to 8 tenths. Yeah. Which is just 4 fifths. Okay, so now I've got my coefficients. So let's put it together and integrate. So this becomes 1 fifth over x minus 1 plus 4 fifths x plus 4 fifths over x squared plus 4. Okay, so this is just 1 over 5 x minus 1 plus I'm going to pull out the 4 fifths because it's a lot easier and I'm left with x plus 1 over x squared plus 4. So this is a little bit different. Um, what I would do here, the substitution fails us. So what I would what I would do at this point is split fractions. So let's go down that route. Let's split fractions. So I've got um, I'm going to rewrite this. I'm going to pull out the one fifth. 1 over x minus 1 dx, right, plus, um, if I split the fractions out, I'm going to end up with 4 fifths x over x squared plus 4 plus 4 fifths 1 over x squared plus 4. So that's simply splitting of the fractions out. Okay? So I'm going to pause here for one second. Okay, so we have these three separate interval integrals, and this is easy. All right, this is just 1 fifth ln of x minus 1. And here, we've got to do a u sub. And here, hmm, what does that look like? Tangent inverse. Okay. So we've got, we've got um, really three separate integrals to solve here. So with the u sub, we're just going to let u equal to x squared plus 4. And du is equal to 2x dx. All right, so... Um, that's going to be 4 fifths times 1 half, because oh, I'm going to pull out the x, and then this is the integral of 1 over u du. So I'm just working them side by side. Oh, I'm running out of space. Okay, so this is 1 fifth ln of x minus one, that just comes down. This is simply four tenths ln of, I'm going to substitute back in for u. So this is ln of x squared plus four. And over here, we've got one over a, remember tangent inverse of x over a. Right? If you didn't recognize that, hopefully you, you didn't go and do it. You wouldn't go and do a, a trig substitution on that, but you could. So two fifths tangent inverse of x over two plus c. So that's your answer. So this particular problem had some nice twists and turns to it. But certainly, um, you couldn't have gotten off the ground unless you were able to do algebra. And that really was this step where we grouped. Okay?